to you, the online program manager, has had a busy fall semester. In the month of September alone, the Revenue Sharing OPM announced a new online master's in social work with Syracuse University, a new online master's in digital marketing with Emerson College, and a hybrid PhD pharmaceutical program with St. John Fisher College. Earlier in August, they unveiled their first undergraduate partnership with the London School of Economics. This month, they made their latest announcement, an online Master of Architecture with the Rochester Institute of Technology, which is the OPM's first venture into the academic field. This list of new clients makes it easy to forget that following the company's second quarter investment call, 2U stock lost well over half its value. Hi, my name is Henry Kronk for eLearning Inside. This is Ed Technically. This week we're going to discuss what 2U has been up to in the past few months. So following that second quarter investor call, uh, 2U stock tumbled from 36.50 a share on July 30th to 12.80 a share the day after. It has since rebounded to between roughly $16 and $21 per share. The sell-off came about largely because you... The sell-off came about after 2U readjusted its guidance, projecting a net loss of between $150 million to $157.5 million for the year. That's nearly double the projected net loss of roughly $78 million that CEO Chip Posick forecast during the company's first quarter report. Less than a month after that Q2 call, CFO Catherine Graham announced her retirement. Now, their quarter one earnings call also led to a drastic drop in stock value, from $59.30 a share on May 7th to $38.89 on May 13th, before it began to regain ground again. That call followed their April 8th announcement, where the company said they'd be acquiring the bootcamp provider Trilogy Education for a total sum of $750 million. These events transpired following what could only be described as a public relations crisis. On April 1st, New America's Director of Education Policy, Kevin Carey, wrote a blistering long-form article for the Huffington Post. It was titled, The Creeping Capitalist Takeover of Higher Education, and it took square aim at the OPM industry, and described to you as the perpetrator leading the charge. Carey slammed the revenue-sharing model used by 2 U in which the company often pockets as much as 65% of the revenue from a given online program in exchange for its services. This is all to say that despite the fact that 2U is hardly in their healthiest financial shape, the company has continued to get institutions to sign on the dotted line. What's more, the handful mentioned above does not represent a drop in the bucket. In their 2018 annual report, 2U counted 67 programs offered by 24 individual clients. In their second quarter report, where they readjusted expected net losses, they also announced a 10-year extension of their deal with the University of Cape Town and nine new program partnerships, including those signed by the newly acquired Trilogy. Uh, the simple number of institutional and program partners does obscure more important details, such as the size of the program and the extent of the services offered. But the company has continued to bring in new business from prestigious institutions. Part of this might be thanks to the company's new deferred tuition program. Announced in September, the company wants to allow students to defer part of their tuition payments without paying interest. They also want to tie those payments to the income their graduates are earning. Beginning with Simmons University's School of Nursing online masters, students have been allowed to defer up to 50% of their tuition until after they graduate. 
They also put in stipulations allowing for students to pay no more than 10% of their annual income toward their deferred tuition. No interest will be charged on these deferred payments. In 2018, MindWire's education consultant Phil Hill described the OPM sector as, quote, a chaotic market that is not for the faint of heart, end quote. Following their July 30 second quarter investors call, Hill continued, quote, over the past year, 2U is no longer staying on the outside of this chaos. They are caught up in the dynamics, and today's call acknowledged the messy, changing market while changing the company plans. Beyond to you, the company, I agree that other OPM companies will be affected by the same market forces. The market is getting even messier, end quote. Those words now appear more true than ever. This has been Ed Technically. My name is Henry Kronk, and I'm the editor at eLearning Inside. If you like this episode, please rate and review it. If you would like to hear more, please subscribe. Also, keep in mind that this show is available as a video on our YouTube channel and also as a podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and Google Play. The basic content for this episode first appeared as an article on eLearning Inside, and if you'd like to hear more about online courses, technology in the classroom, and ed tech in general, please check out our site. If you'd like to get in touch with me, please send an email to henry at elearninginside.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at elearninginside. Thanks for listening.